minimalist running shoes or barefoot inspired running shoes are a great health asset for all ages, especially elderly runners, because the lack of compressible, squishy, soft materials and the flatness and reduced heel height of most barefoot like running shoes or minimalist running shoes may allow for a more stable, secure landing capacity in elderly runners. And at the same time, Barefoot inspired running shoes really help reinforce the feet and ankles to continually self-strengthen, thereby potentially reducing the risk of falling. Evidently, our proprioceptive acuity, which means our body's positional sensory awareness monitoring system, or in other words, the awareness of how our body parts are moving through space, which is heavily involved in balance control, tends to decline and deteriorate with age, resulting in global balance control that may be vulnerable, less responsive, and less reactive, and therefore more compromised with age. However, to provide more ongoing support for optimal proprioceptive or body position awareness and to maintain more clear postural sense into older age, Minimalist running shoes or going barefoot more often, which is even better, may streamline essential and vital stabilizing sensory stimulation on the bottoms of the feet that may greatly enhance self-awareness of body position and limb postural alignment, which collectively are very practical components for better landing stability during running and walking, especially on uneven surfaces. The thinness and the lack of cushioning, and not to mention the loud and crystal clear ground feel of wearing barefoot inspired running shoes or going barefoot may give the best, strongest positive feedback that may enable the reinforcement of more foundational, safer, sturdy, balanced biomechanical outputs, which is of enormous importance because since sensory and motor performance, as well as reflexive actions may decline with age, you may be less reflexively quick and less sharp and thus less likely to catch yourself from falling. This assertion is concerning since falls in elderly are often the result of poor dynamic balance control and slowed sluggish reflexes, which could make running and walking on uneven surfaces very destabilizing. One thing I really want you to remember is underfoot padding may strongly influence in a potentially negative way may affect limb movement control and stability, reflex responsiveness, as well as upper body positional awareness, which may have implications to a loss of balance control during running and walking. Thick cushioned running shoes, especially those with an elevated heel, like most traditional running shoes, may be an unpleasant, potentially destabilizing foot ground surface for any runner, especially elderly runners with compromised balance control as the elevated heel along with the thick compressible materials may impair landing judgment, especially when running on uneven surfaces with surface irregularities because such footwear acts as a sensory barrier that makes ground feel a little fuzzy. Also remember, the research on the health and performance benefits of cushioned, heeled, stiff, motion control stability running shoes aren't exactly glowing with positive results because most traditional running shoes, which are thickly padded, may cause de-stressing mechanical habits like heel striking and overstriding during running. These potentially inefficient mechanical habits, which are a direct result of inadequate ground feel, may cause you to depart away from landing safely with less impact on the knee joint. For instance, reports in the journal Aging, which I linked below in the description box, the researchers found that falls in elderly individuals were mostly attributed to perceptual errors in landing judgment, especially on uneven surfaces. And we know that poor perceptual awareness is a defining characteristic of low sensory input feeding through the feet further cementing the idea that if there was greater or a larger surge of sensory input flowing through the foot may have allowed better movement stability with the legs and feet. Essentially, this piece of data may imply that because perceptual errors was the underlying cause of most falls in elderly individuals, it may indicate that there could be a poor sense or an inaccurate mental representation of spatial awareness of the ground causing footstep to be misplaced. 
Such negative interactions is often probed by poor foggy ground feel at the feet. When there's a lack of clarity of the ground, this may produce troublesome, destabilizing perceptual errors or poor sensory judgment of the foot with the ground, which may greatly encourage falling. Now for a more practical and sensible preventative action in enforcing more balanced, stable foot ground interactions during running and walking, you might want to wear a shoe that isn't clunky, that doesn't catch obstacles, that gives good toe clearance, so you don't trip over something or trip over your own feet. And most importantly, you want to wear a shoe that amplifies and enhances foot placement awareness so that reflexively and perceptually or consciously, you are more likely to choose a more safer, sturdy landing strategy during running and walking. That's why the primary focus for any runner at any age should remain on wearing natural, more barefoot-like footwear for both running and walking as a potential sensory guidepost to help prevent spatial awareness deterioration with age. Since attaining better, clearer ground feel with the feet reflects a boost in nerve activity along the pathways in the nervous system, which helps make balance control more steady, sustainable, more engaged, more reinforced. And from this, you may be more likely to re-engage better balance control from the ground up, thereby potentially preventing trips and falls as you may have less trouble in making accurate landing judgments. I must underscore that the more you are barefoot, doing so may dramatically improve global muscle and reflexive memory as stimulating the nerves in the bottom of the feet via barefooting. The foot nerves hypercommunicate. They fire more rapidly and efficiently with the nerves in the ankle joint and the knee joint and to the spinal cord and to the motor cortex in the brain. It's this type of nerve awakening that actually creates stronger alliances between groups of nerve cells essential to balance movement control in mechanical efficiency. It's important to remember that every nerve cell is connected by links. And when groups of nerve cells are more active at the same time as the nerves in the feet and the nerves in the joints are when you are barefoot, these links or communication connections grow stronger together and are able to store more muscle memory. Thus, by wearing less on your feet, you are actually developing stronger, more responsive, more communicative nerve cell communication highways that mediate, govern, and reinforce better balance control during both barefoot running and walking. This is how wearing less on your feet is certainly an important complement, an important step to develop a stronger balance capacity, especially in elderly individuals, and may also help firm up good biomechanics that may be more easily sustainable when walking or running on uneven surfaces. This is also why elderly runners who struggle with injury should entertain the thought of switching to a minimalist running and of course adopting a more barefoot lifestyle as doing so may put them in a better position to diligently monitor their foot ground interactions with better perceptual quality and from this may develop a better sense of landing control of the foot that is more sensory led when barefoot and you will be in a better position to deploy fall proof mechanics. For more information on barefoot versus shod running, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Have fun out there on the roads and trails. Bye for now.